all of us have overexposed pictures from time to time. In this quick video, I'd like to show you how I rescue an overexposed picture. So this was a completely <laughs> rushed uh, photo because uh, I just saw these great musicians in Mexico and I wanted to get the shot. However, they were moving quickly and I just, you know, took the shot without even bothering with exposure or anything like that. So the picture was really overexposed because I didn't have my camera set up the way I wanted to. So how do we fix this? Well, the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is reduce the highlights. So that would be under what's called light. And this is the little sun icon. This is in Lightroom CC, the mobile app. And a lot of other editing apps have this as well. So you, you don't have to use Lightroom. However, it's my favorite. So I'm going to go to highlights and I'm going to reduce the highlights all the way. Now this is at minus 100. Let me just show you what it's like if I go the other way. As you can see, it's even more what we call blown out. Whenever the whites are totally white, they have no information. They're just, it's not useful for anything. So we're going to go all the way to minus 100. Okay, so is this acceptable? Well, almost. Let's take a look. Do you see how there is actually still, even at minus 100 for highlights, there is no information in the man's shirt. When I say information, I mean tonal information. It's just pure white. So that's not a good situation. Let's take a look at the this wonderful, I don't know what it's called, a contrabass or whatever this instrument's name is. As you can see in this area, we have pure white. And I think it's probably going to be the same down in the these wonderful stones as well. Well, actually, there's a little bit of information down here, but not much. Okay, so what that means for me is that whenever we have a situation where white shirts are blown out or white areas are, you can't do anything with them, they're totally unfixable, then I just revert to black and white. And this is a really easy fix for when we have a situation where all the bright areas or the whites are blown out. So to do that, it's very simple. There's many ways to get to a black and white. The quickest way in Lightroom CC is to go to color and up here, just tap the black and white. And there you go. Now, of course, you can do a channel mixer, which is really fun. And the channel mixing is something that's a little bit more advanced and probably make a video on this at a later date because it's extremely useful for creating black and whites. However, I just wanted to show you really quickly how to rescue blown out highlights. Now it's true that the shirt is still blown out, but did you, did you notice that when we turn a picture to black and white, you actually don't recognize the blown out highlights as much as when it was in color. Let me show you the original. Here's the original. And here is the black and white with a bit of highlights reduced, okay? Now, maybe we do want to adjust the black and white a little bit, so, what we could do is go to our black and white profiles and let's just flip through really quickly and see which one sort of reduces the overall exposure more. Okay, black and white six tends to look good. So let's just go with black and white six. Okay, let me tap this. Yeah, so that's, that's not bad. Here's the original. And here is the corrected version. Again, we still have the same problem with a, a blown out, highlighted area, no information. But as you can see, it's a lot more acceptable when it's a black and white. Okay, another thing that we can do that really ties the highlights and shadows together and midtones is create what's called grain. Okay, so let's go to this area here. And sorry, we're going to look for grain. Now grain is the replication of old film grain. So for example, before digital, I used a Neopan, Fuji Neopan and some Kodak T-Max black and white films. And they always had a lot of grain, especially when you're getting up to the 1600 or even 3200 ISO films. So let's just for fun, increase the grain to 100%. And we're going to zoom in and as you can see, we now actually have pretty much fixed our blown out highlight problem. 
And you may ask, why would you, why in the world would you add grain when a lot of what we're trying to do is reduce noise in grain? Well, adding grain for a situation like this is extremely helpful because, as you can see, we no longer have a real obvious blown out highlight look because the grain is filling in the pure white areas, where the areas where there's no information whatsoever. Okay, so what I'd advise you to do is those three things. Let me just back up. We'll go to the original. The first thing that you want to do is reduce the highlights. The second thing you want to do is switch to black and white. And the third thing you want to do is go to grain, which is down here. Okay, and with those three things done, you will be able to actually print out your picture and make it look good because the highlighted areas, both here on the shirt and also on the base, as you can see, there's still, there's grain now, and before there was no information. And of course, below on these uh, cobblestones, this really looks good, okay? So I hope that helped, and uh, yeah, so take a look at the photos that you don't like because the, uh, the bright areas were blown out, and rescue them, that's your homework. And I'm sure you'll do a great job. It keeps a lot of photos away from that trash bin. Have a great time uh, in your photography, and also, just a little plug, I am teaching photography with uh, photographer James Wilson in San Miguel de Allende, one of the most beautiful cities in the world, this coming winter. So if you want to escape the cold, please join us in San Miguel de Allende and we will have a great time going around the city, visiting other areas in Guanajuato, and uh, learning photography and eating amazing food. Okay, see you in the next video.